My name is Priyanka. I am from Nepal. I was born and raised in a Hindu religion, and I used to follow everything what my elders used to do, like visiting temples, worshipping idols, statues, and even human beings. Being a polytheist, considering that all objects made by God are worth worshipping, and that there exists a part of God in them in every single being. So all are worthy of worship. In Hindu pantheon, we have 33 million gods. Since childhood, I used to think which god I belong to. Whom shall I worship? This question used to be always on my mind. Growing up, I always detested the concept of food, flowers, offerings to the idols. I always used to think instead of wasting that food, probably we can give it to some hungry or needy person. Because God doesn't need food, sleep, water, milk, or any basic needs, which are the need of human beings. As time passed, I learned more about faith. And I realized that I didn't believe in Hinduism. I never felt the connection with my religion, and visits to the temples left me feeling empty and confused. In 2016, I stopped visiting temples and worshipping idols and kept on believing that there is a God. We all have the natural tendency to believe in a divine. It was particular incident in 2017 that led me to think seriously about God the Creator. I was going through a very tough situation. I made a supplication. To my surprise, my supplication was answered on the same day. It gave me the courage and pushed me to do research on religions. In 2018, I started to do research on religions, and I decided to see what is the concept of God in Hinduism, what role God plays. And what scriptures say about God in Hinduism? So I started to look into holy scriptures of Hinduism. Upon researching, I came across various shlokas which clearly indicated Hinduism does not promote idol worship. In Hindu scripture it says, there is no image of God. Hindu scriptures confirmed to me that there is no image of God. So naturally, I decided to look into Christianity to provide some answers and clarify who God is. Upon my research, I discovered that Christianity does not believe in one universal God. Their concept of God is Trinity, which they believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When I looked into Old Testament of Bible, there I discovered the Ten Commandments of Prophet Moses. Peace be upon him. The first and the most important commandment of entire Bible, where it says, Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord. The Ten Commandment clarifies that there is only one God in a Bible. But humans naturally associate others with the Almighty God. Christianity led me to research on Islam. In Islam, where I came across few pure monotheisms, where the entire Islam religion based on oneness of God. There are uncompromising monotheisms on the heart of Islam, 
which is distinguishing Islam from other religions. The Holy Scripture of Islam asserts the existence of single and absolute creator, provider, sustainer and a unique independent and invisible God, Almighty who is independent of entire creation, who controls, monitors everything on the earth and in the universe. By reading this, I was fully convinced that if there is God, the Creator, then this is the one. I carried further research on the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which is the only Prophet in human history that has an entire history documented in a book, intact up to present day which is the Holy Quran. Many questions were going on my mind because since my childhood, I had a very negative view about Muslims. The media did influence a lot of my opinions. I used to get scared whenever I see Muslims with long beard and women covering themselves with black cloth. As a kid or a teenager, of course, I didn't really have adequate knowledge of different religions. Eventually, in 2018, by the will of Allah, I took my shahada in my room. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. There is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last messenger. I cannot explain the feeling which I had for the first time in my life. I still remember the day, the feeling which I had. It was so pure, divine, emotional and eye-opening. I felt the connection with my Creator Allah. It's like I came from the darkness to the light. Even after taking Shahada, I wasn't following Islam completely like wearing hijab, praying, eating halal, and so forth. In the same year, 2018, I signed for Nepali movie. Since childhood, I was very fond of acting and always used to dream seeing myself on the big screen. By the will of Almighty, I got the opportunity to work in a movie. My happiness touched the sky that time. In January 2019, my movie released and when I saw myself on the big screen, I wasn't happy at all. It was like something missing. I felt emptiness inside me. I told myself this is what I wanted since so long time. Why I am not happy. And I came back home from theater I had a Muslim application on my phone, and I was going through it. I saw one quote and it's written. Sometimes Allah gives you exactly what you want it, just to show you it's not at all what you needed. I burst out with tears. I knew from that moment this is not my purpose to pursue movie career in my life. I realized that worldly things, name, fame, money can fulfill your desires, needs and can give you temporary happiness. But it can never fulfill your soul needs. It can never make you feel content in your heart. Eventually from February 2019, I decided to follow Islam sincerely. First time, I started wearing hijab and eating halal. Then I learned how to pray five times a day and learned to read Arabic. In the month of Ramadan, my grandparents came to know about my new faith. It wasn't easy for them to understand everything at once. I started interacting with them and other members in my family and some of my friends whom I thought 
were religious, but all in vain. Everyone had a different concept and theories, most of them contradicting with each other and none of them having satisfactory answers. Because majority people don't read their own scriptures. They follow aura traditions and the knowledge blindly, passed down to them from generation to generation. Right now, when I meditate in my life and look backward into my problems and situations I was facing at that time, it's impossible for it to be a coincidence. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among the righteous one and allow us to spread the message of Holy Quran to the world. Amin.